Hey guys, uh, Todd H, Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage. It has been a little while since I have created a video. Um, as some of you may know that I've, I keep in touch with uh, texting and whatnot that uh, I've changed career fields. Uh, I got my CDL back in January and I am now driving truck for a living. And that is not leaving any time for model building at the moment. Um, I'm still very inexperienced and very focused on learning that career field and learning that job. And of course staying busy with the way things are right now. Um, trucks are about the only thing rolling other than maybe medical people and hospitals and that type of thing. But anyway, it's been a very long time. I apologize to all of my subscribers. Um, it, it's, um, had some personal things go on in my life uh, about a year, a little over a year ago, year and a half ago or so. And I uh, just kind of took a break. I'm still kind of in a break. Um, like I say, with the truck driving, it's, <clears throat> it's very difficult. Um, to get any bench time, but I just watched uh, Fast Jimmy 71's video um, on taking out one of one of your builds that you feel like uh, is your best one. And honestly, um, in the five or so years that I've been on YouTube and been back into building models, I kind of keep going back to this one. This is one that. I ended up building and submitting to Dr. Cranky's uh, calendar that he used to do. And I got honorable mention for it, um, which for I think this one was my second or third model that I had built. I was really, really pleased and very honored to be even uh, mentioned in the same breath as all those people that actually made it in the calendar. But anyway, uh, this is it. This is the 50 Chevy that I built. It's probably been four years ago now. Um, used uh, Dr. Cranky's salting technique. It was my first time doing it. I probably could have done more layers, but at the time I just didn't really know about that stuff. But what I did is the interior, and you guys probably aren't going to be able to see it. I mean, I could get you up close here and you'll start wiggling around but um, the interior is like all restored and new but the truck is as you can see patinaed dusted up um, it does not have the six cylinder in it um, it's got a 454 in it I don't know if I can get the hood off here or not There we go. Oh. Um, there's the 454. This was my first attempt at, uh, come on, phone focus, at uh, making uh, my own headers out of solder and wiring the engine. Um, and those of you that have been subscribers of mine for a while have seen this this build many times um, I lowered it um, it was just it was just a, a really fun kit it was a fun build um, I got a little recognition like I say be an honorable mention for Dr. Cranky's calendar gosh it's, it's probably been four or five years ago now um, but anyway I, I do uh, watch quite a few of you guys' videos. Uh, I'm active that way. I'm commenting. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to get time to get back to the bench. I will say, though, I'm going to move this one aside for a second. This is going to be kind of a bring out your best one. Uh, going off of Fast Jimmy's just video that just posted. This is the last one I completed. I'm going to call this one done. Um, this was the Rusty K Buddy build um, that he and I started two and a half years ago, maybe almost three years ago. I just finished it probably a couple of months ago. Again, another 50 Chevy. Um, 
same technique, same salting technique that probably a lot of us picked up from Dr. Cranky um, and many other builders out there that use the salting technique to, to get this effect. A um, little different colors. I didn't lower it. Um, it was just the idea behind this is just, just a farm truck. I did take a page out of Dr. Cranky's uh, book, you might say, and uh, I didn't glue the body down because I wanted to be able to take it apart and look at it. Um, it's got the, the stock six cylinder in it. Not a lot of detail on here, guys. It was just, I just wanted to do another patinaed uh, paint job and kind of a crusty build. Um, as you can see, I do have the inner fender wells in the, in the bed of the truck. Um, I just honestly didn't feel like installing them. So I guess the story on this could be that the guy is going to take them, excuse me, he's going to take them and start, uh, getting them cleaned up and maybe start restoring this truck. Um, but anyway, uh, Hope all is well with you guys. I appreciate my subscribers uh, sticking with me. I've noticed I've picked up a few here or there along the way, even though it's been almost a year since I've made a video. Actually, I think it's been over a year. Um, and I uh, hope all, all is well with you guys out there. And uh, hope to see some more videos on, on your guys' build that you think... Uh, uh, is, is your best your best build um, again I've got I've got a long ways to go guys I, I am I've got so much more I could learn and so many more techniques and um, hopefully I can get back to the bench and, and start putting together another build I do have a fair amount of kits in my stash I got plenty to keep me busy but until I get comfortable with this truck driving thing um, it's just on the back burner right now. But anyway, um, it's Sunday night. I uh, hope you guys all have a good week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.